I kind of thought it was a low budget film to begin with. It was just like another job except you look weird. I had lunch with Alec Guinness. Uh, we used to go in and sort of practice the fight together, like kids fighting in the back garden. And I was like, look at this, what's going on? How many actors can say that they've got their own action figure? And you become friends. I would just treat everybody the same. I said, George, how do you want me to play this? He said, well, play it like they do in the movies. Not everything's going to stay in the film. And I was quite angry and hurt. It was just a nightmare. The only thing that really got me out of this house was really going and doing this convention. And he said, I'll pay you 300 pounds. Oh, doing what? He said, signing autographs. I said, are you for real? My face was in the movie, you know. Jeremy's got a bucket on his head. What's that about? Well, that's purely because it's Boba Fett. I can't say any more than that. It's not my fault. Fans all over the world are generally just brilliant. You made a slight look. I said, yes, I was waiting for lunch. I really didn't have that driving ambition to succeed. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. You don't want to be classified just as an X-wing pilot. It's a piece of us, or it's a piece of, you know, what, our, what somebody's life is. And I was in with the helmet on, finally stopping with George Lucas. He said, welcome aboard. It's not a big role, but I think you'll have some fun. You kind of just go, you know, move on, you know? As the Sand Trooper says, move along.